appearing on screen is known as Project 1F1. It's essentially Mercedes-Benz's groundbreaking high-performance project to bring Formula One technology to street cars. Up next, I'm going to tell you some details about how Formula One works and how. The people at Mercedes-Benz have managed to transfer much of that advanced technology, which allows them to win championships left and right into a street vehicle. These latest generation Formula One cars have a system commonly known as DRS, a system that was created more for safety than anything else. When a Formula One car has to overtake another, a series of aerodynamic problems arise. Basically, where one car has to get into the slipstream of the other. And remember, the shape of Formula One cars is no accident, it's the result of incredibly complex aerodynamic development. The goal is to make air resistance as low as possible, while at the same time, the shape keeps the car stuck to the track. When one car gets into the slipstream of another, things get complicated because the car in front creates turbulence at the rear. That turbulence affects the car behind, and the overtaking maneuver can become very dangerous if it lasts longer than a certain amount of time. They solve this by adopting a system that, when a car enters an overtaking zone, gives it extra power to quickly get through that situation. Once the car has overtaken and taken the lead, it can move without that system. And at that point, things more or less even out. But the system exists, it's an electric system that, through a very special turbo generator in the engine, powers an electric motor that provides extra power to the Formula One engine. That's exactly what the people at Mercedes-Benz are doing, something very smart, which is taking their Formula One experience and transferring it to their vehicles, almost to street cars, well, sort of, but let's say, to high-performance vehicles. They added this to a sports car. It has features similar to Formula One cars, at least when it comes to electric propulsion. And this also allows, for controlled periods of time, to add extra power to the vehicle and give it absolutely exceptional performance and overtaking capabilities. For example, at a certain moment, you have 1,000 horsepower available to overtake another vehicle or to accelerate. The result? A sports car that, even though it's not a Formula One, I imagine driving it, how amazing it would be, must feel pretty similar to driving a Formula One car. This shows how the world of sports, particularly Formula One, creates innovations that eventually make their way into street cars to the benefit and enjoyment of those who own everyday vehicles. Subscribe to our channel, Autotech TV. Technology, clear and simple.